Welcome to this splash guide on writing an introduction. An introduction is important because it tells your reader what your essay will be about. And as the first part of the essay, it's your chance to make a good initial impression. This guide introduces you to the different components that should feature in your introduction and will also provide some tips and strategies for writing one effectively. So what should you include in your introduction? Include some background and context. The main ideas your essay will discuss. Your main argument or line of reasoning. A brief discussion of your approach or the key theories, concepts or scholars that you'll be drawing on. And an outline of how your essay is structured. Let's take a look at an example of an introduction. So an introduction should be about 10% of your total word count. This introduction is about 150 words long. So it would be suitable for an assignment that's about 1000 to 1500 words long. If you're writing a longer assignment, your introduction should be longer and more detailed than this one. Pause the video now and take a few moments to read this introduction and resume play when you've finished. Okay, so this introduction is about um, whether nutrition menu labeling can positively influence consumer food choices. If we look more closely at the introduction, we can see that it's made up of different sections. So each color highlighted here represents a different section of the introduction that's performing a different function. And we'll look at those closely in turn. So the first section here is the background and context. So your introduction must set the scene for your essay. The purpose of the background is to provide some key information on the topic that introduces the reader to the bigger picture of your essay. In the example above, the author has framed their essay within the bigger picture around obesity that then allows them to narrow down to nutritional food labeling. The second se section introduces the ideas your essay will discuss. So this is where you will outline the different aspects that your essay will focus on, what exactly you'll be investigating in your essay. In other words, what is your essay fundamentally about? The next section introduces the approach you're taking. So this part of the introduction outlines what material you'll be looking at in your essay. In the example provided, we can see that the author will be looking at recent literature on food labelling and interventions by the Food Standards Agency. You can also use this part to discuss any key scholars you'll be drawing on or key theories or concepts that underpin your essay. The following section introduces your main argument. So this is the main point or message that you'll be making in your assignment. So what is it that you're trying to persuade the reader of? You might outline many ideas in your essay, but you'll usually only have one central argument. In this example, the phrase this essay contends tells the reader that the main argument is about to be stated and you'll then be expected to provide reasons and evidence in your paragraphs to support this. The final section of this introduction explains the structure of the essay. It's good practice to signpost the reader to how your work is structured. Outline the two, three or four distinct parts of your essay. It's not necessary to outline every idea in your introduction, but do tell the reader how you've grouped your ideas. So you can see here how all these sections come together to create 
a really effective introduction. Of course, when writing your introduction, you'll need to consider what makes your assignment unique. You may feel that it's appropriate to include additional areas. For example, you might want to add some questions to your introduction that you'll then go on to answer in your essay. Or you may wish to state why your topic is important to explore or discuss. Take some time to think carefully about what you want to include in your introduction. Here are a few tips and strategies for writing introductions. Write a rough draft initially and then redraft it later on. This is really useful because your arguments and ideas might develop or expand as you write your assignment and your introduction will need to change to reflect this. Try to use keywords from the question in your introduction. This makes really clear to your reader that you are addressing the question set. And finally, ensure that there's a clear link between your introduction and your conclusion. Do you conclude what you set out to argue? And do you answer any questions that you asked in the beginning? Make these links as clear as possible for your reader. To access further guidance and support in developing your academic skills, visit www.surrey.ac.uk forward slash splash.